Hey, we're back again. I see you. You knew the right thing to do was to tune in to the Main Street Randyland YouTube channel. Hooray, hooray, two hoorays. Of course, this time we have another fun-filled episode for you to gawk at my stuff. Stuff. I got the stuff, right? Well, I don't know. I got stuff. And we're over here upstairs at Randyland. And, you know, we walk by things and sometimes, you know, we just talk about stuff because, you know, my camera guy looks things differently than I do and he spots things and it's like, you know, he remembers it so it triggers his memory. And although all these things trigger my memories, it's interesting when it triggers somebody else's memories. So other people have memories along this line too. And everything has some kind of memory that's going to trigger along with somebody. And what did he spot as we're walking along? He spotted an Atari fire truck. Yes, there it is. Now, <clears throat> the Atari fire truck, it's kind of a short machine, isn't it? Look, look how low that steering wheel is. It's your traditional Atari uh, you know, steering wheel and your volcano push buttons there that light up and you push the button for, you know, so you got the horn button over there. I mean, it's a pretty cool game. Well, it's low because it was a sit-down video driving game. And, and over here is the other part of it. This is the front part of it. So you would sit in the seat there, and then the next part of it would be standing here. So it was actually a two-player possible game. So the guy who's sitting in the chair is holding the steering wheel of the other of the other section and driving on the monitor, but the guy here is standing looking over his head and driving the same fire engine on the same screen. Well, how does that happen? <laughs> well, those of you who know about big cities know that big cities have tall buildings, and when you have tall buildings, you have to have tall ladders so fire trucks have really really long ladders attached to ladder trucks do anyway so in order to get around these city streets which come you know to blocks and they're all like a grid they can't make the turn at this really really long fire engine they can't make that turn so they have a guy standing on the back of the fire engine where the ladder is that has his own steering wheel that is steering the wheels of the back of the fire truck. So when the fire truck makes the turn, the front makes the turn, but the guy in the back is gonna let the back still go straight and then he's gonna turn so it goes over that. You know, you know who did this one time was Kramer. Kramer on Seinfeld. You can see him driving the back of the fire truck. Of course, he crashes because it's Kramer and he doesn't know how to drive the back of a fire truck, but he's on the back of the fire truck driving to, <laughs> trying to drive the back through the streets. Well, that was the premise. Listen. Do you hear it? It's the fire trucks. <laughs> they heard us talking about them. There's someplace outside going by. Well, the Atari Fire Truck was a game based on that premise where you have two people driving the hook and ladder for the fire truck. So the guy in the front is driving the front, the guy in the back is driving the back and you're going through the city streets. But what's interesting about this game was the fire truck itself is kind of stationary on the screen. And yes, the front will turn, the back will turn, it'll swivel a little bit, this, that, and the other. But what changes on the screen is the scenery grid. So you're looking at the map, and as you're going by, the, the entire background is shifting up, down, left, right, you know, diagonally, whatever. Because as you're turning, you're staying straight, and the landscape is going around differently from you. So you can actually play this as a one-player game or a two-player game. So if you're playing two players, one in the front, one in the back, obviously you're both controlling your part of the fire engine. But if you're playing only one person, you can select if you want to drive the front or if you want to stand there and drive the back. And when you do that and you're the only person playing, the computer will control the other section of the fire engine that's going. So as you're going around the city streets, of course, you're trying to go as fast as you can and you don't want to hit anything. And um, I thought I remembered it correctly. There is no gas pedal 
for the back. So if you're driving the back by yourself, you cannot control the speed. If you're driving the front, you had a gas pedal to control your speed. But if you're playing by yourself, I guess the computer, something must be going on. Interesting. Well, I don't know. I hope it's not us. <laughs> we, did, we did turn everything off downstairs, right? I don't know. So this is the story of the fire truck. Now, I happen to have two Atari fire trucks because one is not enough, of course. So I got one from Walt Disney World in Florida, and it was from the Contemporary Resort Hotel at the Fiesta Fun Center. And yes, I played that actual machine right there at the Contemporary in the Fiesta Fun Center, and it was a lot of fun. And this would have been, oh, back in the late 70s, I guess, in that area. And and when I came across it over through property control, when I was working there in the mid 80s, of course, I had to buy it because I remembered and liked it so much. It's an unusual game. Not everybody had one. The other one came from New Jersey. And I'm actually not sure if I got it from the Carousel Arcade or if I got it someplace further north. I think it was from the Carousel Arcade, but I got two. So you got to have two Atari fire trucks. One isn't going to be enough of them. And someplace along the line, I probably picked up an extra control board for it because this is what I do. I would have come across and I'd say, well, you know what? I might need that someday. So you got to get another control board. So they're, they're actually made a press board as a lot of this stuff was back then. If you look at this, they didn't really, really use plywood. They used press board, and this is, a, this is not a split. They cut that in the middle so that they have this T molding. You see the T molding? It's like a T, and then the T molding will press into the groove, and that's how you do it. Now, you can see that this wood has expanded a little bit because typically the wood would be the same size as the T molding. So press board expands. That's what happened. That's why this is not staying in there. So this can be remedied by putting an adhesive inside inside that crack and pressing that in and, and, and making it seal down. But if the wood gets too bad, then you're going to have to, you know, use some kind of body filler and, you know, collect it in. And the, the lamination on the side is coming off here. Uh, this could probably be re-adhered, but if it starts ripping off, then you got a further problem. But a lot of these disintegrated and uh, they broke away over their time because a lot of things were made with press board back in the day. It's unfortunate. They didn't use a good enough wood because things weren't being made for longevity. They were being made to sell them, to make the money on them, and get them out the door. But back in the day when things were more craftsmanship oriented, the older games of the 40s, 50s, and 60s, they used real plywood in almost every instance. And those games have stood up far better with the test of time. Be that as it may, I'm happy to have my fire truck. And um, I'm pretty sure that this is the one from New Jersey because I think the other one is still in my house down in Florida out on the porch down there. It's kind of an enclosed porch there. So I'm pretty sure there's a fire truck there. I don't know if I brought that back or not, but the last time my mind's eye remembers, I remember seeing I had a fire truck out there on the porch. I'll have to check that next time I get down to Florida. Meanwhile, that's the story of fire truck and we'll see you next time right here on the Main Street Randy Land YouTube channel. Bye guys.